Hello everyone and welcome to a really awesome game that was suggested to me via email uh, by a user, uh, by an excellent subscriber rather named Eric Flair, uh, so thank you for that. Uh, it's uh, it's a 3 minute Blitz game 3 plus 0 uh, between National Master Nelson Lopez and a user that goes by the name of Renal Peligros uh, and uh, he said that it reminded him of the Immortal game, or rather the, uh, the Immortal Evergreen game because there's an Immortal game and an Evergreen game but both of them are considered Immortal games, but the Evergreen game uh, played of course between Magnus Carlsen and Max Deutsch uh, but in reality I'm sure as you've all realized that even if not uh, you know right from the start uh, between uh, Adolf Anderson and uh, Jean Dufresne in 1852 in Berlin uh, but as I, I don't think it's quite up to that standard but it is a, a quite a very nice game so uh, we will show it and before we check out the game I would just like to say that today there's a, a team leeches arena uh, so if you guys want to be part of the team uh, the first link in the description below will take you to the uh, where you can sign up for the tournament so uh, while all of you can play uh, only those who score the most points will count so only 20 people who score the most points uh, will uh, go into the into the final count but it doesn't really matter because you don't know how much uh, you know uh, anyone else will score uh, I will be streaming it uh, so there's a there's a chance that your game will be showcased on, on today's stream uh, so that being said let's check out the game uh, as uh, uh, Nelson opens uh, with uh, uh, e4 uh, we have knight to f6 going for Aliechin's defense we have bishop to c4 uh, this is the Krejcik variation of the Aliechin and it's a very very uh, tricky line if you don't know it with black but it's not good for white if black knows what black's doing uh, the idea is if you capture the pawn then white can go for this bishop captures on f7 king captures queen h5 check and you're going to win back material for example king g8 you're going to go queen d5 check and now after the uh, check is blocked you're going to win back your piece but black gets uh, really a lot of development for this for example d5 queen e3 c5 and so on but if you're playing a 3 plus 0 blitz game and you're not sure about this then maybe you avoid it like uh, uh, Peligros did in this game so instead we have d6 uh, knight to c3 and now g6 so preparing to fianche to the dark square bishop uh, we have d4 grabbing the center and now bishop to g7 uh, we have f3 uh, strengthening the center now preparing of course g4 h4 h5 and so on uh, the classical setup when black goes for this uh, fianchero uh, setup in the kingside castle uh, we have castles kingside and now bishop to e3 uh, knight to c6 now putting more pressure on the center continuing development and the queen to d2 now uh, we have e5 and now d5 closing the center as white wants to attack on the king side so usually it's very principled uh, if you're attacking on the king side you usually want the center and the queen side to remain closed so black doesn't get uh, a lot of counterplay so knight to e7 and now bishop to h6 another standard move uh, in positions like these you want to trade off black's dark square bishop as this is this is just a monster often referred to uh well so uh, in sicilian defense is often referred to as the dragon uh, but i call it the, the dragon pretty much uh, in all uh well uh, lines w where it's a fianchettoed so here knight to e8 uh, the, adding another defender here but uh, mostly making room for this pawn to be pushed to f5 we have bishop captures king captures and knight g to e2 now uh, we have h6 with black and now queenside castle so white says all right the center is closed i'm gonna castle queenside and now uh, i'm gonna start pushing my pawns on the king side uh, and here we have f5 and this is a, a bit of a uh, well uh, I don't know how to call it, but uh, usually uh, when your opponent castles on the other side of the board, you can see that black castle kingside, white castle queenside. Usually you want to attack uh, where the, your opponent has castled. So maybe here something like a6 and b5, we already have a nice bishop on c4 to attack. So maybe we can get b5 in with tempo, b4 in with tempo, and so on. But okay, here black decided to go with f5, and this only, uh, well, plays right uh, into white's plan. So here h4. Uh, continuing with the pawn pushing and here f4 black closes the uh, tries to close the king side rather but it doesn't really work here rook d to g1 and now knight to f6 and now g3 and this g3 is a very important move you do not want to play g4 if you play g4 then black can just move the knight and you're not getting anywhere if you push g5 h5 or if you push h5 g5 uh, doesn't really matter i mean black will close the position and good luck attacking this uh well this king on, on g7 now uh with this uh, pawn structure like this look at this this is uh nothing is getting through this this is uh, this is impenetrable 
So instead, after knight to f6, of course, white went for g3. Now you want to open up the g file. Uh, we have knight to h5 now, putting pressure uh, on the pawn, but also if captures, you can capture with the knight. But here, white doesn't open up the g file. Now white pushes g4, but now it works because after knight goes back to f6, uh, you will have a, a dual target. So knight f6 with g5 now, attacking the knight and the pawn captures captures and now knight to h5 and here well you could play some prophylactic ideas like king to b1 white says nope we are now uh going through and that happens with rook captures on h5 well objectively maybe not the greatest idea uh for a three minute blitz game it definitely uh the, the hurts a lot so g captures on h5 and now rook to h1 where we want to open up the h file now uh, rook to h8 defending and now we uh, attack further and happily sacrifice more pieces so knight captures on f4 uh, and what do you do here well you kind of have to capture it that knight is now a monster here so uh, we have uh, e captures on f4 and now queen to d4 with check king to g8 and now we've sacrificed a lot but we still don't have a lot to show for it so we have to continue uh pushing uh, everything forward so just e5 so what do you do here capturing would be a bit too dangerous because then just uh, d6 check and uh, you're not really gonna get anything here if king f8 just queen captures on e5 uh now you're threatening captures uh the, the rook is being threatened so uh, after knight g6 defending the rook getting the knight out of the way we can play queen d5 threaten checkmate and while black can defend this with perfect play we always have to remember it's a three plus zero game it would be very very hard to defend this with black so instead after e5 we have knight to f5 now attacking the queen queen captures on f4 and now now black played everything perfectly up to this point uh, and now black needs to continue doing so uh, but that's often uh, very hard because it's easy to attack like there, there's a saying it's easy to attack it's very hard to defend uh, because uh, when attacking you generally have the idea of what you're doing when you're defending not not really and here and the only defense for black is captures and that's something you almost never want to do when defending you want to develop you want to get your pieces into the game the point is after queen captures queen here and now it's you, you basically force a queen trade because there's no good square for the white queen the, you can't really go here knight g3 forks the rook and the queen here this is taken by the knight so you would have to go back then queen f4 check king moves and then we're gonna block this pawn then develop the bishop then bring the rook into the game and our position is just great however here queen to f8 was played but now white gets one very important tempo that he immediately plays and that is knight to e4 the f6 square is uh well uh, uh, up for for grabs so to say and there's not much black can do about it here we have king to g7 king to f7 uh, might be a bit more resilient because then if uh, sorry uh, if king to f7 maybe we can e6 and king to e7 but it would still be very very difficult to play this so instead king to g7 was played but now knight to uh, knight to f6 now the knight is on an excellent square here king to g6 now uh, if e6 comes the knight will lose protection so the king here serves as a protector of the knight but that's not really uh, uh you know a very very comforting as this bishop is coming to d3 i mean we all know that so here e6 uh, blocking this dark square bishop and look at this now black's rook is doing nothing this rook is doing nothing the bishop is doing nothing queen i mean okay queen is uh, is here but not really doing all that much uh, what <laughs> the piece that's uh, doing the most work here in this position in black's camp is actually the king on g6 so here knight to e7 getting the knight out of the way as we know bishop to d3 is coming and this is exactly what white plays bishop to d3 check king to g7 and now uh, you could uh, you know rush through this by force for example rook captures uh, on h5 rook captures knight captures with check and this will now be winning for example king to g8 just bishop to h7 check and uh, once the the bishop is captured we can win the queen and then easily win the game however uh, black chooses uh, white chooses a uh, more of a stylish way to end the game and place queen to d4 now threatening all sorts of nasty discoveries and notice that there is no square available to the black king all of these squares are taken by the pawn by the bishop by the other pawn by the knight and uh, well it's just a very unpleasant position to be in 
uh, th there's no good move here. Uh, black played c5, sort of trying to say, okay, if you move the knight, I'm going to capture your queen. Uh, but white doesn't uh, doesn't really care because now white has a forced checkmate in six, and it's a really a, a wonderful one. So feel free to pause the video here and finish this never green game uh, while, while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on going for the uh, most forcing uh, of lines. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, of course, it is knight captures on h5. Uh, knight, the e8 check also works. It also serves as a double check from the knight and from the queen, uh, but it takes a few more moves to end it. Here with uh, knight captures on h5 is just instant death. Uh, the king has no squares and it's, it's double check. Yeah, we always have to remember th that saying uh, in... Uh, I always I always forget forget it, uh, but e even the the bravest king flees in the face of of a double check or something like that. Uh, but yeah, king to g8 only move, and now comes the move you all saw when you played knight to h5 check, and that of course is queen captures on h8. We're gonna check this out immediately in slow motion. So let's just go after that queen captures on h8. Only move for black is to capture the queen, and now of course knight back to f6 with check. And here, there are no moves. You could play king to g7 and get checkmated right away. Or you could play what was played in the game, and that is queen to h6. Uh, give up the queen just to prolong the game for a few more moves. Rook captures king g7, rook h7, check king f8. This is all forced, and now rook to f7 is checkmate as the knight covers g8 and uh, e8 both. So yeah, really, really impressive game by uh, by uh, national master Nelson Lopez. Uh, really, uh, you know, uh, really uh, a lot of attacking, like like we all enjoy it. And uh, well, it, it was just wonderful. Uh, okay, maybe not the most uh, correct of ideas, but for a three-minute blitz game, you know, it, it's just what we what we want and what we enjoy and what we should always go for. So really, really awesome game. And one other thing I wanted to mention: if you're ever in a position like this, when uh, where your opponent already reaches a position like this, don't play queen to h6. It, it, it just ruins the beauty of the game. Uh, always play something like this and allow a checkmate like this. It, it, I mean, you you will lose. In, it doesn't really matter if you lose in three moves or in one move, uh, but the, the, the final position is much, much nicer if there's still a queen on the board. So it doesn't matter if you win the game or lose the game. You should always uh, allow your opponent to, to create uh, a, a position like this as well, e even though it means losing the game. I know losing is hard, but uh, you, you will feel much better if you allow uh, su such a position to happen. Just something to consider maybe in the future uh, while you're, you know, destroying everyone in your own online games. Uh, so yeah, uh, once again, uh, don't forget, I will put a link in the description below. First link will be uh, the tournament uh, arena on leeches that will be today. I will be streaming it. So, you know, do join and help us out. We need a lot of uh, a lot of players uh, winning a lot of points. And there will, uh, of course, will be a chance for you uh, for your own game to be showcased. Uh, I'm not going to be playing. I'm just going to be uh, enjoying the chat and showcasing your game so we can show as many of your games as possible. The, the tournament lasts two hours, so I imagine we'll get um, uh, quite a lot lot of uh, opportunities to show uh, more, more of your games. Uh, so yeah, uh, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Really a wonderful, wonderful game. Uh, I would like to thank Daniel Martin, uh, Thomas Dyson, Rashko Stevanich, Dennis Steifert, and Jerry Draver for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing the coverage of the Morphe Saga, checking up on your wonderful suggestions, and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.